from that pretty mouth, the truth is fitting. Cause you ain't never talking loud and you know plenty. You know what I'm Greetings, Ascended Nation. So I'm coming to you with a quick energy check-in. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I greatly and truly appreciate it. So, and to make sure y'all follow me, following me on TikTok as well. And I'm still working on my Patreon. So stay tuned for that. All right. So the first card we have is a living room. All right. It says comfortable space, family gathering. So something could be significant about um like some sort of like um living room setting or a family room I'm getting as well. Um but family gathering in this area, okay? Um um the original energy that I was picking up, one of the energies I would say that I was picking up off of this card was something significant like to um like watching like debates like with the whole election thing or whatever but you know something about debates like it's a lot of people that are watching the the whole debate situation right now because right after the living room um card we have indecision okay and um the number eight could be significant so i feel like a lot of people at this time could be in their head about what they're seeing okay like what's going on some people could be like in a panic mode okay people who really didn't too much believe in some of the things that they're hearing and seeing these days that's what i'm getting okay and then with the indecision it's like two two um options on this card and i feel like that's where people are mentally okay and i feel like a lot of people are still like undecided they could be like lost because on this picture it's like little red riding hood in the woods and stuff and we know that whole situation all right something could be significant about um um some child in the woods or you know some some significance about the little red riding hood story something about that okay um so now i'm getting like some wild as okay i'm not even going into that so the next card we have is the world all right the number 29 is significant all right so justice is um could be significant i feel like it's like judgment or something being passed over the world at this time that's what i'm getting okay and people are seeing it play out all right that's the energy i'm getting off of this card Okay, so to further clarify this, we have sharpening. So something significant about your intelligence, okay, or your intellect, all right? People can, could be watching this, actually, all right, as well with the world card and then sharpening. So people could be watching this, all right? I'm getting in with the living room family gathering space, okay? Then we have um, the song Ocean. On the Ocean by K. John. All right, so something significant about this. Um, this energy I, I get from that song, I try to put it in the um, description box, but we have Ten of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Two of Swords. All right, so you could be um, feeling some type of... Um, with the on the ocean, I'm getting people watching you across the the ocean. Okay, I'm I, that was the first energy I got off of this card. Then the other energy that I got off of this card is um with the like I said, judgment being passed over the world, like some type of balance with the two of swords here. Okay, I just feel like some type of balance when it comes to the world overall. Okay, what's taking place right now? Then we have Life Path 5. So this talks about air, Jupiter, Mercury, purple could be significant. The 5th, the 14th, the 23rd could be significant. Then we have dramatic, we have adventurous, we have passionate, free, thinking, intelligent. So as I was saying previously about the sharpening. Okay, so definitely something significant about your intellect. Then we have 360. It says abundance, wealth, and success. All right. So something significant. And to, you know, the song by K. John, if you're familiar with the song on the ocean, he's talking about his ships coming in. Okay. So then we have life path three. Um, it's fire, Mars, Jupiter, or Mercury could be significant. The color red could be significant. We have third, 12th, 21st. So tomorrow could be significant. The 30th could be significant as well and then we have 
popular. So something could be significant about someone popular or you could be popular, okay? We have friendly, passionate, versatile, artistic, okay? So something significant about that, all right? The opposite side of this coin is someone who is egotistical, critical, or vain, okay? Then we have 4 a.m. by Melanie Fiona, all right? So... We have karmic relationship. Do not ignore the red flags. And like I said on this indecision card, um, the girl on this card has on a red, a bright red cape. All right. So this energy I was getting off of this too with the karmic relationships is to be careful with. Um, okay. That's what I was getting. All right. So spirit is giving me the wolves and sheep's clothing. All right. Okay. Okay. So yes, the wolves and sheep's clothing that's the download that they're giving me because like i said the song on the ocean talks about your ships coming in so be careful of fake and phony people all right so next we have garden we have floral delights garden enjoy blossoming colors plant care all right so something could be significant about you being in the garden okay um i know i just me and my daughter we just cut grass maybe about a week or two ago i had posted about it on my community tab and my god it was it was crazy it was fun but we we paid for it the next day but anywho so we have archangel michael all right so something significant about the root chakra here i was also getting archangel michael helping you when it comes to any type of like um if you're out in your garden if you're out planting flowers you know this time of year um and like i said the whole garden thing like tending to your lawn or something like that archangel michael is you know helping you with that okay um the number 35 could be significant the number eight could be significant we have 88 all right so um, I feel like, and too, I feel like when it comes to like any decision making, Archangel Michael is helping to, I'm hearing, uproot, okay? So like the wolves in sheep's clothing, Archangel Michael is helping to uproot, okay? Um, the Anything to try to cloud your government, your, I was about to say government, oh wow. So something could be significant about that, but I meant to say, I was trying to say anything to um, cloud your judgment, Okay. So, we have yin and yang as well. The number 22 could be significant. So, you gardening could bring some sort of balance. Like, you could feel some type of sense of... And we did have the um, two of swords that came out. Yeah, so you could be feeling some type of... I was giving it a sense of balance, okay? When you do... You know, when you're working in your garden or planting flowers or tending to, you know, flowers or something like that, okay? If not, then this is a sign, okay? I'm getting as well. So, to further clarify this energy, we have divine inspiration, spiritual elevation, nearness of, of God, Okay? Then we have King of Cups. It says emotionally balanced, compassion, diplomatic, control, balance, supportive leader, tolerance, empathetic. All right. So something could be significant about um, this Yang energy. This Yang energy could be a King of Cups energy. All right. Then we have nostalgia. So something could be significant about someone being a nostalgic energy. Okay, this could be you, this could be someone you're connected to. Then we have, if everything is dipped in gold, then it'll never grow, all right? And like I said, gardening, planting, and I feel like maybe this is giving me like putting in that work, okay? I'm, I'm just here putting in that work, period, okay? But this could pertain to, you know, your garden or whatever. So um, this is a song, a, a, a line from a song by Janae Aiko, okay? And Pisces energy could be significant. All right, this King of Cups could be um, a Pisces energy or have Pisces somewhere in their chart, okay? So, next we have, or or something could be significant about a high priest energy. High priest or high priestess energy, okay? Then we have frankincense and myrrh, sandalwood, cinnamon, rose, and sage, all right? So you could be burning any of these scents or this is your cue to burn some, okay? Once again, it's frankincense and myrrh, sandalwood, cinnamon, rose, and sage. 
So next we have Life Path 33, Most Inspirational. Okay, so this talks about naturally art artistic, but they choose to go into fields that require collaboration, such as film or music, rather than something more solitary. All right. So something could be significant about um, feeling inspired, okay, or being inspired. All right. Next, we have MTV. All right. So something could be significant about MTV. You could have been someone who likes to watch it. All right. So we have your connection to mainstream pop pop culture, fashion, sexuality, dancing, and creative expression. Do not trust a perfect person. All right. So that goes back to that energy that we was getting in the beginning with the wolves and sheep's clothing. Okay. The whole Little Red Riding Hood uh, situation. Okay. It's something significant about bright red. All right. Your aura. Thank you, spirit. So something significant about your aura. Okay. In the wolves and sheep's clothing. Okay. Um, then we have the sunflower. All right. So with this. Um, something could be significant about Oshun. All right, we do have, we did have the garden energy in the beginning. So we have loyalty, following source, true faith, strength to be assertive, honesty, optimism, and longevity. All right. Following that, we have an earth sign energy. All right, so someone here could be a Taurus, Virgo, uh, Capricorn. All right, but U, V, W, X, Y. Z could be significant, okay? And I don't know if I said the right zodiacs. I'll repeat them. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, for that earth side energy. Um, so then we have Saturn, all right. Also, I'm picking up in this energy. Something could be significant about a is an establishment that begins with any of those letters, okay? U, V, W, X, Y, and or Z. Then we have Saturn, all right? So something significant about responsibilities, all right? So something significant about um, something surrounding responsibilities, okay? I'm hearing like pinnacles with this earth energy here. So something could be significant about that, okay? Optimism, I'm hearing too, that's sticking out on the back of this sunflower card. So... Next, we have bridge. It says connecting pathway, overcoming divides. All right. So with this, we have happy family. All right. So something is significant about a happy family. Um, 44 could be significant here. All right. With the yin yang, we got 22, which reduces down to, oh, excuse me, confirmation, which reduces down to four. Okay. And we have 44. So you could be saying 22. 44 you could be saying 22 or 44 all right you could be saying 444 as well um and then we have the thanking man the number 46 could be significant all right so someone here could be thinking about a family all right or have a family on their mind something significant about a family here we do have ophucus energy all right so um for me ophucus is Scorpio Sagittarius, Sag Capricorn, Capricorn Aquarius, okay? Um, this could, Lilith energy could be significant and dark divine feminine or masculine energy, okay? So, um, someone here, their first, middle, or last initial could be K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T, Okay, also something could be significant about the elements, okay, and this being the um, beginning letter of some type of um, storm surrounding the elements, okay, that I'm getting here, okay, something could be significant about that. Then we have Life Path 5, the free spirit, all right, so it says it's time to rely a little more on people around you, all right, so something significant about you relying a little bit more on people around you to free i'm here like free yourself up or free yourself or something like that okay then we have something could be significant about a wall um but then we have notifications eight of wands expect communication so something could be significant about communication here okay then we have the Holy Spirit. The number 50 could be significant. All right. We have Shekinah, Sophia. 
all right someone full of greed could be significant all right so someone um who is like all about money okay something could be significant about a cancer energy then we have women will sell they sold just to buy some attention that is a verse from wale a virgo could be significant here as well okay and the artist 50 cent could be significant also okay next we have fire all right so something could be significant here about some sort of i've been picking up a lot of fire energy Okay, um, something could be significant about an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Something could be significant about wildfires as well. Okay. Um, then we have daisies. It says childbirth. Something could be significant. I'm hearing 50% for some reason. Okay. But um, we have childbirth, affection, motherhood, innocence, rebirth, faith, and eternal life, hope, fun. Okay, so with that family card, someone could be in some type of childlike energy. Okay, then we have the lucky cat. All right, so it says beckoning, inviting positive attributes such as wealth, luck, or customers towards you. All right, um, I think it's pronounced Maneki Nako has been adopted by some feng shui practitioners as a good luck symbol. All right, so something could be significant about the lucky cats, okay? And then we have something significant about the color red or um, a red car or something like that. But it says um, red symbolizes intense emotions, passion, rage, ambitious sense of fun. Okay, so definitely something significant here about fun. All right, so some more zodiacs that came out are, and I'm gonna try to go through these quick, that could be connected to any of this energy. We have a May Taurus, we have an August Leo, we have a November Sagittarius, we have a May Gemini, we have an October Scorpio, we have a December Capricorn, we have a March Aries. We have our October Libra. We have a December Sagittarius. We have a June Gemini. <clears throat> we have an April Taurus. We have a March Pisces. And we have a September Libra. All right. So some names that came out. I'm going to go through these quickly. Elizabeth. Zalani. Hector. Bradley, Bertha, Evans, the letters A, B, C, or D, okay, could be significant, Maury, Warren, Claudie, Macy, Drew, Ferguson, Archie, Jose, Mickey, Nunu, Amina, Maya, Alicia, and the letters I, J, K, and or L could be significant, okay? So that is everything I have for you, Collective. I hope you enjoyed this message, and I'll talk to you in your next reading.